And good afternoon everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today's guitar is the Squire Jazzmaster, the 60s, uh, actually the 60s classic vibe. Uh, I bought this on a deal uh, through a musician's friend. Uh, I think the deal was $3.99. Uh, it's the Daphne Blue model. Uh, same scale as the rest of the, the Fender Lines 25.5. Uh, I've been wanting a jazz master a long time. Never had a jazz master. In fact, never played one till probably about a month ago. And I always liked the sound. I just really didn't want to pay a lot of money for an American made jazz master, knowing that I would only play it on certain recordings and at certain times. So knowing that it was not going to be a full time guitar, I decided to go with the Squire. I'd heard really good things. Uh, on YouTube about them, but that's about as far as it went as far as this guitar. Uh, I'm, I, had I had it to do over again, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But the problem is, is when you uh, spend, you know, three ninety nine, or if you, I think right now the last time I checked, it was five hundred nine dollars. Um, by the time you ship it back and so forth. You have to pay the shipping to return it unless you can prove something's wrong with it. And there were several things wrong, whether or not they would deem that as an offense to send the guitar back and not pay the shipping. I, I don't know, but I, I wanted the guitar, so I decided to uh, go ahead and take care of it myself. When it came in, it came in adequately packed. Uh, the only thing that you get is the... Uh, the Allen wrench for the truss rod, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, like I said, it was adequately packed. The guitar looked great. I have no problems with that. Uh, the only problem is is that uh, it was not playable. Uh, not by most guitar player standards, meaning could you take it out of the box, and if you had to, go out and play somewhere? No, you couldn't. And I would definitely not recommend this as a guitar for a starter guitar. You could actually pay a lot less money and get uh, get a better quality guitar. Uh, and that's just how it is. It came in, the neck was so dry, it had horrible fret sprout. Uh, it still got some, uh, which I will take care of. The frets were so nasty and it was just grinding every time you went to, uh, to bend the strings. So I ended up having to polish the frets. And what, the other thing that most people won't tell you, which is a common problem, is when you go to bend your strings, because of the bridge and the break here, there's not enough break. And most of the time, it will pop out of the saddle. So what you end up having to do is take the neck off have have it shimmed right here with a small piece of something. Uh, in this case, I used a small piece of a Coke can. Just to, you just want it up a little bit to where it gives a more a, be, a bigger break here, and then it won't pop out of the saddle. Uh, I've I've really kind of gone as far with the guitar as I can go. Uh, it still required a lot of work to intonate it. In fact, if you will look, you can see. Some of the saddles are about as far back as you can go. Uh, and that's how far I had to go to get it intonated. So, you know, if the neck moves or something, and it's something that a truss rod won't take care of, then it's going to have to be shimmed again. You know, I, I made a mistake. Uh, I bought it on the deal of the day. Ordinarily, I don't buy guitars from musicians' friends or Guitar Center uh, because they don't have the uh, inspection that Sweetwater does. But I thought, well, it's a good, of an, a good enough deal. How wrong can I go? And the fact is you can go pretty wrong because Sweetwater would not have shipped this out in the condition it was in. Even the front pickup, uh, one of the screws were not totally seated. And, uh, you know, there's there is just was absolutely no attention paid to detail whatsoever. And when it came in, you could play it 
but if you're a solo guitar player, you couldn't solo with this guitar. There's no way. Uh, and so it, it requires a lot of work. It's still going to require a lot more work to get it playable because now that the frets have been polished, uh, which is not something I created, it came this way, uh, there, there are high frets. And so those have to be taken down. So you shouldn't have to spend, or you shouldn't have to spend any amount of money for a guitar that's not playable. And you certainly don't want to spend a lot of money on a guitar that the strings are so high off the fretboard that a new guitar player couldn't even play it. Uh, that's why I've never recommended buying like classical guitars or, or for that matter, most nylon string guitars for a new guitar player because they're not going to be able to make chords or notes or whatever. You know, it's a, it's a horrible guitar to get a starter. And, and I, this would be a horrible guitar for a starter player too. Uh, believe me, you would get the guitar and then they wouldn't want it. And you would be out, unless you got it at a deal, you'd be out over $500. There's a lot of guitars you can buy for $500 that are playable. This wasn't one of them. Uh, I hate to rag on anybody. And as you can see, I don't even have the tremolo bar in it. You know, the way it rocks back and forth, it does not hold tune even with the tremolo. So it's going to need a lot of work. Uh, this was brand new, came out of California. It went, you know, musician's friend placed the order, came from California because I tracked it and it came here. So... Uh, there, there is some redeeming features on this one is it does have the bone nut. The, the, uh, pickups are incredible sounding. They are really good. Uh, listen to this in the bridge position. <laughs> volume control is pretty good. You don't you lose a lot of tone. So as far as the uh, pots go, the volume and, and the tone, they're passable, you know. So you still got a lot of good tone, so you don't lose tone. And on the volume, or, or excuse me, on the tone control, So you got good function there. Uh, and then, of course, the, the middle position. And then the front position. Or neck, rather. Sounds really good. I mean, that is one redeeming picture, the pickups. And, uh, you know, and, and the neck does feel good with the exception of the fret sprout and certain high spots here. I'll give you, I, this is what I'm talking about. Hear that? That's, that's not that's not acceptable but at least it doesn't pop out of the saddles so if you're looking for a good jazz master I, I really can't say that uh, the the Squire 60s classic vibe is going to be the one you need to buy uh, and I, uh, I, I no one endorses me I buy these guitars I bought this one because I really wanted a jazz master uh, had I had it to do over again, I wouldn't buy this guitar. But given the money, amount of money that it'll cost me to send back, I'll go ahead and keep it and uh, make it a project guitar. If you want a project guitar uh, or a project jazz master, this would probably suit you very well. Uh, all the controls work just like they say. You know. So, I mean, if you're looking for that sort of thing, 
You know, it's got great pickups, uh, and, and the neck feels good. Tuning keys, I don't know who manufactured them. There's no name on it. That's kind of what you would expect, uh, a guitar, you know, that's coming out of Indonesia. But uh, to tell you the truth, I have seen some really great guitars come out of Indonesia, but the Jazzmaster of the 60s classic vibe, this particular one ain't the one. As I said, there were a lot of things that were undone from the factory. They didn't screw in the pickups right. Pit guard wasn't even screwed on good. Uh, you know, and, and the bridge definitely wasn't set right. It was not playable. Uh, I mean, you could probably make a chord with it, but as far as really playing one of these guitars, you couldn't do it. Uh, that would have never happened had it come out of Sweetwater. Lesson learned, I will not buy another guitar from anybody but Sweetwater. Uh, anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I don't like being negative, but, you know, sometimes you just got to call it the way it is. Uh, fret sprout, dry, extremely dry, uh, you know, not playable. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say uh, other than I'm really sorry to have to talk this way about a guitar, especially one that I paid for. So I hope you found this information uh, helpful. If you know of any friends that are on the edge of perhaps buying a Jazzmaster, you might want to show them this guitar, or, or show them this video rather, uh, before they buy. And, uh, and always buy from someone who will do the follow through, make sure that the guitar is ready to play. Uh, I'm not gonna give any commercials more other than what I have said. But uh, I hope that you will become a subscriber and click on the bell icon for future notifications. I apologize that it's been so long since I've made a video. I've been very busy trying to get a new band together and so forth. And things are finally getting to where it's on an even keel to where I can make more. So uh, I do have a new video that will be coming up pretty soon about an Alvarez baritone that I bought that I think was really a very good buy. A few little quirks, but be prepared for that video that's coming. Other than that, have a really great day, and we'll see you again soon.